Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Hearts of Vion 4, the Pax Britannica mod here as Germany. Now, where we left off, we occupied France, managed to finally crush the French menace, and now we're in the process of bringing all of our allies over to come and aid us against Russia. Now, am I going to be making the initial offensive? No, don't be daft. Um, oh wait, hold on. Who's the enemy? Who, who's who's the enemy? Who's the enemy? Enemies, New Holland. Oh, um, sure. Yeah, go for it. Um, yeah. So, I'm, I'm not going to make any movements myself. Because, A, I don't want to lose manpower. And, B, I've been holding my forts for so long. I'm not giving them up willingly. So, I'm going to slowly but surely move all of my divisions over to the ports. And just wait. Just wait until our allies launch naval invasions... Land in Königsberg, land in Danzig, land in the Lithuanian lands, land in Riga. And then once we've got those footholds, and once we're in, then we're going to send in our forces. But what does that mean for us in the meantime, you ask? What that means for us is that I can slowly but surely start to produce proper armies. So, for example, I want to start building... A good, 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 good chunk of super soldiers. So, I've got 15 here. Let's just throw another bunch in there. So, let's deploy. Hold on. There we go. Uh, elite super soldiers. Train. Give me five. Cool. So, that now takes 20. One, two, three, four. Boom. Give me nine. Okay. Now, that's a 24 stack waiting to happen. Fantastic. How are we doing on the ledger? Anti-tank equipment is looking horrid. Oh, dear. 94 days. That's not too bad. 107 days for infantry equipment. Okay, it's not too bad, but it's not the worst. How are we doing on everything else? Fuel, we're looking green. Fuel, we're looking good. But, uh, construction. How are we doing construction? Okay, so my fuel my fuel refineries are still being made. That's fantastic. You know, the more the merrier. My actual industry, are we building... No, so we're not even building these. I need mill factories like there's no tomorrow, bro. I desperately... Because I need tripods. I need land shit. Bro, ah, <laughs> no. Okay. Right, so we're going to have to get building then. We're going to have to be researching, we're going to have to be building. There's a lot to do, and we need to get on it. We need to get on it like Sonic drinking gin and tonic on a car bonnet. Okay, so thanks to my great decision of making sure that we've got fuel, um, I no longer have to worry about that anymore. Um, I, I'm in a little bit of a... Uh, uh, I can't even English, oh my god. Um, I'm in a little bit of a pickle though, and that pickle is the fact of my airfields are now full... Because everyone and their mother has decided that my airfields are the one they want to be using. Um, so, <laughs> it, is a, it is a tad problematic. Uh, that I wouldn't be lying if I said that. Um, but I think we can get around this. I think we can get that around this just okay. I've got my fighters. So, I'll move them over to Poland like this. These guys are my transports. I don't know why I've got transports. But you know what? We'll send them to France because they're not really needed here, are they? Um, and these guys, I'm just going to bring them over for the moment. I do want to try and get as many as I can working on this area but again i can't really just squeeze everyone into one box can i it's not going to work like that um you guys are maxed out yeah you guys are maxed out that's the transports i think no it's not right you guys go here and can you hit it from there you can hit it from there oh that's fantastic then right both of you guys hit there um you guys hit here that's now full because again everyone and their bloody mother has decided that my airfields are the ones they want to use not convenient in the slightest um, 400, yep, yeah, we've got a 400 gap here, that's wonderful. Um, and then my fighters are going to be defending the skies above home, like so. Now, off topic of air power. As you can see, I've set up a naval invasion. Will it be successful? Probably not. But, the reason why I've done this is, I have taken my ship and scoured around the land. Like, I will do a quick scope out like this, and show you what the situation is over here. So, as you can see, all these ports here... All have someone guarding them. However, you ask, SMS Donal has found a weakness. And that weakness is Riga. So, what we're going to do, we are going to rally our naval invasion. And hopefully, at the end of this period, which is 70 days, well now, 65 days, um, we'll be in a position to where we can land in Riga. If I can do that, that's happy days. I can just try and spread through Russia by means of Riga. Now, also... I can add technical teams, technical research teams. And I need to actually have a decent look here because I want to have a look at what they can offer. Electronic research screen, cool. Industrial team, I've already done all my industrial research, so that's not a problem. Light air team gives me max speed and agility. Okay. Messerschmitt give me tactical bombers reliability. Naval air team, don't really care for. Heinkel, what does, what does Heinkel give me? 
Hanko gives me strat bombing plus 15. Again, it doesn't really... Uh, it doesn't really give me what I want. What about CKD? What can you give me? CKD is 10% speed, 5% armor. Porsche is hard attack reliability. And Staya Daimler is armor and reliability. Um, You know... I'm probably going to have to... Oh, dear. They've kicked off. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to have to side with um, CKD. Yeah. I'm going to have to side with the checks because that's a great decision. Yeah. Our speed and armor. I'll gladly take that. And then I think for the next one, um, I will probably end up going with light air because although I really want cast, none of these give me cast. Yeah. They give me carrier cast, but not cast cast. So I'll probably have to go with JFM. I think JFM is going to be the one we're going to go with. Um, also, focus-wise, let's have a look at what focuses we've got. What's the story in Balomri? Balomori? There we go. Right, the Kaiser Conference. There you go. Issues of the colonies. 40 days. Let's have a look. What's wrong with them? <laughs> it seems that we've got a choice to make. We could either we could either go in or go not. Or go not? Or not go. Sorry. Oh, my God. So, intervention in South Africa. Do we greenlight the proposal for Southwest Africa to go in? Or do we say No. Now, Southwest Africa, bubbly bubbly boo, here they are down here. We actually have South Africa in the whole conflict. If I press this button here, Southwest Africa, they have the manpower. They've got 40 divisions. And I reckon they could come out on top. And then all of South Africa could be German. You know what? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Have fun. Be free. Be one. So, the Kingdom of Dietzland and uh, Southwest Africa are going to come together. And hopefully deal with this mess that's happening. Um, how are we doing with manpower? Because I already have declared or deployed those units. So 800k. Okay, right. I think it's time to start making... No, that's a lie. I'm not going to do that just yet. How am I doing? Have I maxed this out? I've maxed it out. Okay, that's fine then. If that's the case, then we're going to start updating our equipment and our gear. So I'm going to go over to... Uh, no, industry. Is it industry I want to do? Yeah. Land ship. It's time to replace you. We're going with improved, no, advanced land ship. Okay, this is our tippy top top. And I'm going to upgrade you like crazy. Um, so I want, um, this is the main armament, right? Yeah. So turret, I want one man turret or two man turret. One man, two man, one man, two man, one man, two man, three man. No, two man turret. That's fine. Um, I want track suspension. And which one? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So I can either go super speed or super speed or slightly faster and more reliable and more armor breakthrough. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go torsion bar. Go torsion bar for the armor. I'm going to go for cast, which makes it quicker. Um, I do have the petrol, diesel. Yeah, and it makes things more reliable. Oh, wait, hold on. That slows it down. No, I'll go with petrol. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go gasoline. Gasoline. Um, small armaments. I'm going to go with... Let's have a look. Small cannon, heavy machine gun. Something that doesn't slow it down, preferably. Basic high velocity cannon. That sounds pretty good. I'll do that. Okay. Right. Next up is a radio. Because everyone needs a radio. Improved radio. Yes, please. Um, I'll also go with special modules. And I will go with an auto loader. Yes, please. Because that's needed. Um, the stabilizer. Because that's needed. And what else have we got? Smoke launchers. No. Reliability, dozer buell. Okay, that's pretty good. Wet ammunition, so it stops us from going boom. The piercing is good if I do a squeeze bore. Okay. I feel like I'm going to go with squeeze bore. Yeah, I feel like squeeze bore is probably the best choice. And if I go, oh no, because reliability goes up if I do that. Um, I'll go with wet ammo. Go with wet ammo. Uh, engine, go quicker, like so. Nice and quick. Oh, my word. <laughs> this is crazy. 10 speed, but we're 117% reliable. That's insane. Oh, my word. 100, so, apparently, I think 110 is like the guide. So, we're going... Hold on. So, we're going at 20 kilometers an hour, which works out at about 40 mile an hour. How's the armor? So, if I put the armor up, our reliability goes down. I'm not sure how that one works. But our fuel usage does go up. And we are going to name these after the old Kaiser. Wilhelm um, Panzer 
I don't know, Craig? Craig. We're going to go Craig. That sounds German. We'll go with that. <laughs> Mark 2. The Wilhelm Panzerkrieg Part 2. Yes. Save that. You guys are getting rid of the basics and we are upgrading to this. Oh my god, it is an absolute monster. Okay. How... F I don't even want to... You know what? I don't even know if I want to know. I, I don't even want to know how bad the damage is. Okay, I need to go to trade now. And find someone to help me out with my trade situation. So, Bulgaria. Let's trade a little bit more. Thank you. Um, Portugal. Thank you. Let's trade a little bit more. Um, and I think we're good on that front. I just need to keep the fuel coming. I just need to keep the fuel coming. Because, oh my god. Like, if I can land this naval invasion. And have my panzers. Bruh. Just bruh. So much bruh. Right? You guys go in here. Fuddingen. And we'll prioritize upgrades. Yeah, there we go. Panzer divisions. Um, I just want to make sure that you are all light land ships. Yep, okay. And they are light land ships, aren't they? Yeah, advanced light land ships. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Right. Well, um, let's skip forward and I'll see if we can't get ourselves a, um, a nice little naval landing. And here we go. It's time to launch our naval invasion. I managed to hold off until I got my panzers. I'm hoping these new panzers will do amazing. Um, our cruiser over here, good old Donau, still not seeing any resistance in that naval base, which is fantastic. Um, the destroyers from Prussia have been destroyed by our uh, naval bombers, which is fantastic. Uh, I just want to see whereabouts. Okay, right, they're slowly but surely working their way through. It is a big navy that i've just got kind of done I've, I've compiled them all together um it turns out that my navy is oh no it's not draining it's because these guys are getting built isn't it every time a, a new fuel reserve gets built it has a little visual fan angle and then everything's fine uh, it's going to finish building off these guys and then once we finish building our forts radar stations after we finish building radar stations we'll then build the fuel silos which means more 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 um and then after i've built those finish off the last of the building and then arms factories galore um the russians don't seem to be Stopping in the Russian Baltic governor, which is fantastic for news for us. It's, the only problem is our navy is taking so long to get there. I am slightly concerned that our landing might be obstructed. I, I'm hoping it's not the case, but you never know. I want to get that airfield as well. The more airfields I get, the better it is. I need to get my tank core ready to go. The second we get a landing, we're in. The second we're in, we are in for good. I do not want to have to pull out. Come on, come on, get Riga, get Riga, 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 da, 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 da. come on, hurry up, please. It's taking forever. It really is taking forever just to get landing. There's no resistance, thankfully. There doesn't seem to be any forts in the area either, so we should be okay. I just need to get this initial landing. All right, we're in. Cool. Right, uh, form up here. Nice attacking like this. I want you to absolutely steamroll it to St. Petersburg like that. Get stuck in. Cancel this order. I want everyone to hop onto the other order. But before I do that, I'm going to make these guys red so that they're a little bit different from that. Okay, cool. All of you guys hop in there. And now the great offensive begins. Get started, my troop. Get moving. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Right, Mountaineers, immediately, immediately, immediately go and get air cover. Immediately. Right, the naval invasions, uh, we are going to stop that, please. Like so, can I, can I, are you not going to let me do it? Is the game, is, is the game's refusing to let me do it? Oh, come on. Please, hurry up. I, I, it takes so long. There we go. Okay, right. You guys form up over here. Your new home is Riga, for the moment at least. For the foreseeable future, you now live in Riga. Awesome, form up. Everything's good and grand. Okay, right. Well, with that being the case, and with that being how it is, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, uh, don't forget to, of course, click the like button and or subscribe. Share with your friends, grow for the channel, all that fun stuff. And um, join us next time where the great German offensive of Russia begins. So, thanks for watching. I've been Anglo. You've been you. Have a good one, guys. And laters.